How you folks doing? So a woman and her boyfriend have been dating for a while. And she hasn't been able to bring herself to tell him about this guilty pleasure that she has. And that is that whenever she's not over at his place during the weekend and she's at home, she indulges every night in a big bowl of baked beans. She just loves the damn things. And, of course, with it comes the side effects that go along with eating lots of baked beans. She gets rather flatulent, stinks up her whole apartment, and, you know, varmint and rats go running for dear life. Well, finally she decides if her relationship's going to work, her boyfriend would never be able to get past her passing gas every day, so she decides to give up the beans. And, sure enough, eventually the boyfriend proposes to her, and they get married, and they've been happily married for almost a year, when one day, on her way home from work, her car breaks down, and she pulls the car off the side of the road, and she calls up her hubby, and she's like, Sweetie, I'm terribly sorry, I'm going to be home late, the car's acting up, and I'll, I'll just, I'll call a tow truck, it'll be fine, you don't have to worry about me, I just wanted to call and let you know I might be running a little late. And the hubby's like, okay, well, I've been planning on making you a really nice dinner tonight, um, so I could use the extra time anyway. She's like, okay, and she hangs up, and she goes up the road to the first exit ramp and goes into a restaurant where there's a public phone, but she smells, oh man, she smells some baked beans of cooking. She can't help herself. She's like, well, if I eat some now, I'll have plenty of time between the tow truck driver getting here and getting home for the ill effects to pass by. So she orders herself a bowl, and it's the first bowl she's had in over a year. So she orders another, and then another, and, and she's so full, and she's like, well, I'll just, I'll eat daintily at, at dinner, you know, just to humor him for whatever it is he's preparing, and so... She calls the tow truck driver from the restaurant phone, goes back to her car, and sure enough, the effects of the baked beans start taking hold, and she's passing gas left and right. Oh, man. So finally, the tow truck driver arrives. She figures it's out of her system, gets her home. She pays the tow truck driver, and she's walking up to the front door. She feels one last good one in there, just lets it rip. And she walks through the front door, and husband standing right there gives her a big old hug and he's like, I'm so glad you made it home safe and I've got a surprise for you, but you're going to have to put on this blindfold. I've been working really hard on it. She's like, oh, he must have gone all out and made one hell of a meal. So he leads her to the dining room and he sits her down and as soon as he does, the phone in the kitchen rings and he's like, all right, wait right here, sweetie. I'll be right back. And he goes in the kitchen and he starts talking on the phone to whoever's on the other end. And she feels it brewing again, and she's like, well, he's in the other room. He'll never know. She lifts up her right leg, and she just lets one rip. And, you know, it's loud. It's not loud enough to, you know, be heard past a phone conversation in the adjacent room, but you could have heard it. Uh, but the smell, oh, man, the smell is what's doing it in. And she's, she's feeling around for a napkin. She finds one and grabs it and is wafting it around and, trying to get rid of that smell when she feels another one coming on she lifts her leg and three more squeak out and i mean that the whole room just smells like bad cabbage she's wafting as fast as she can and finally she hears the phone conversation coming to an end in the kitchen she wraps up puts the napkin out in front of her on the table somewhere and she hears plates being put down in front of her and she figures it's gonna be it's a really elaborate spread and he leans down, and as he's about to take off her blindfold, he whispers in her ear, Happy anniversary, sweetie. And as soon as he does, her friends and in-laws are all at the table and yell surprise. <laughs>